In the preceding sections, we have discussed some types of physical damping that may be present in the structure. Damping characterization is an important aspect to the accurate prediction of vibration response of a system. Hence, we have also discussed various methods to characterize the damping effects. Because the basic nature of the energy dissipation is not clearly defined in real structures, viscous damping is still often used to approximate nonlinear behavior. Also, test methods exist to help measure and quantify the amount of damping in the structure. But still, the question may be asked, what value to use? To that end, we provide these suggestions. The damping value and method chosen should be validated with testing whenever possible. This will build confidence in applying the damping in future simulations of similar like structures. Also, there's growing consensus that while the Raleigh damping is convenient mathematically, it has limitations in capturing the dynamic response of a multi-degree of freedom system over a wide frequency range. So this brings us to the common recommendation, and that is to use modal-based dynamic simulations. These permit frequency-dependent damping ratios and can help overcome the limitations of Raleigh damping and help fine-tune the dynamics and damping of response of the system. We'll explore modal-based dynamic simulations in future sections when we discuss the mode superposition method and forced frequency response analysis, otherwise known as harmonic analysis.